Okay guys, now that we've got it assembled, let's go ahead and give it a try out. I've got a piece of poplar here, just a scrap that I've clamped up in between dogs. I'm going to use a rabbit plane, put a nice crappy dado here. Starts real deep in this corner. In fact, shallow, nice shallow hump in the middle here. Back to a little bit deeper. And I went ahead and put a groove while I was at it. Got a nice little ramp going on here. Starts shallow at this end and goes nice and deep. So uh, what we're gonna do is take her through her first paces. Other than a couple little nicks in here where I actually made sure that the iron was gonna cut uh, after resolving our iron issue. It has never been used before, so you're here for a first. We'll see how it goes. So let's get a little paraffin wax on the bottom here. Make it glide nice and smooth. And we'll start with the high spot. Should be right around in here. Just our cutter down. Now by using a 1032nds bolt in our cutter adjustment knob here, we uh, know that one turn of the knob is a 32nd of an inch. So, I went ahead and put these uh, finger grips in here because just in a little bit of holding it, it seemed easiest to me. Go ahead and grasp the knobs with my fingers here and put a little forward pressure on it, especially when you're starting the cut. Thumbs at the back to give it a nice little push. And we're cutting. Get up into the corners. I could probably use a little bit more work. Blew out that corner there, because eh, first time using a router plane. And let's get that cleaned up. We'll go a little deeper now. About a 30 second or so. Certainly not taking light cuts. Might be a little too heavy. Come at it from the other side now. Yeah, certainly too heavy of a cut. It's alright. You live and you learn, I guess. Go ahead and lighten that cut up. Is that maybe a little bit more? There we go. All the way up the end. Come back the other direction. Doing this, just make sure that even if our iron is not setting perfectly square. Get a nice flat level bottom. Back with a paring chisel. Clean up the corners. Well, it's certainly going to take a little more work on my part as far as learning to use it. But, uh, nice, consistent depth now. Quick and simple. Let's see how we do long grain wise. And now we're starting to cut. Obviously, I made these grooves horribly off. So that I can see just how good I can do. But I can pull a nice shaving and do some more work here across the width. We've got the uh, 
medium sized Lee Nielsen shoulder plane that I made this cut with originally. And some nice tight curls here. And again, this board is not flat at all. I didn't flatten it in any way, shape, or form, just straight out of the scrap bin. Going with the grain, I seem to be able to take a little bigger bite, obviously. It makes sense that I could. And we're getting there. About halfway through now. Now, while we're at it, let's go ahead and try the uh, quarter inch cutter here. Went ahead and made one up while we were at it. So, uh, let's stick it in, see how it does. Obviously a lot less resistance, cutting a lot less material here. Nice curly Q shavings. Doing a little better on control with the grain. And now let's try it in the bullnose configuration. Take the adjust lock out. Adjust your knob off. Spin our iron around. One thing I will end up changing, I'm sure, is this post for the adjuster. Uh, it flexes just a little bit. Uh, it's just a real cheap 1032 bolt from Home Depot. And I think probably if I go with uh, hardened steel, you know, maybe a like I said, gap bolt, that kind of thing, that uh, I might have a little bit more success. Let's go down just a hair here. And go ahead and see if we can get her to cut. Seems to cut well in that configuration. See how it does pulling towards us. Again, this is the quarter inch cutter. Need to work on control just a little bit. As far as my talent level here. Edges aren't exactly untouched as they should be. But let's get a nice look at that groove. A little bit of clean up work there. Uh, done. I'm pretty pleased, especially for nothing more than a little time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye.